I just put up to Harbor City Skate Park. It's probably one of my favorite Los Angeles County skate parks. Meeting up with Matt Digi. I've been in contact with Matt for like, like since like the mid DIY diaries stuff. Spring break guys, he's on spring break out here. So yeah, whatever spring break is, I'm not sure what spring break is. Straight off the plane to board sliding up a cliff trail. Oh, there it is. That was like third try, dude. So sick, man. Dude, it's, it's waxed enough. You got that Cali wax. Yep, always. He's from the East Coast, so things aren't there out and waxed, apparently. <laughs> Subscribe to Matt's channel, head on over, give him a sub. Some cool East Coast. You did add some snowboarding content. Yeah. Skateboarding, it did bad. snowboarding. What do you mean it did bad? That video did bad. Really? Yeah. I thought it was cool though, because it was like there wasn't uh, rail gardens, that's like a different spot. What that spot was you that's guys were riding. Oh, it's like bro, it's like the same thing. Yeah. Rail gardens in Utah, that's what I call that spot. Oh, okay, okay. It's on campus. <laughs> I call it the rail gardens because yeah. it looks like it. But it was sick to watch you guys like groom the spot and then ride it yeah it's cool to see it was a lot of work yeah but yeah head on over subscribe to his channel and yeah you'll probably see him back on the west coast yes in the summer or something every three months or so yeah oh yeah. yeah all right so you guys have been probably wondering and asking and commenting and messaging me about this for the longest time you guys want to know what happened to my eye and before we get into this I didn't do this myself. I didn't purposely like people think I tattooed my eye. I didn't tattoo my eye. People think that I'd done this to myself. I didn't do this to myself. I can still see perfectly fine. And yes, I have been offered the opportunity to get them lasered surgeried out. Lasered surgeried out. I've had the opportunity to get them lasered out when I was a small child. I just never did it because I didn't feel like it was a big deal to me. The truth is. One of them is a birthmark. I can't remember which side it is. I think it's, I think it's the inside is a birthmark maybe. I don't know. One of them is a birthmark. I share the same birthmark with my grandpa, so my dad's dad. He has the same birthmark in his eye, but I'm pretty sure it's the outer one. Um, I did have an injury and cop this kind of <laughs> brutal, nasty, blood clot it's not really a blood clot but it's like a scar in my eye i think i was about four at the time four years old this is when my we were we were staying with my aunt in ontario is that how you pronounce it ontario the one in california not the one in canada and i can't remember who it was with i'm pretty sure at the time my aunt was kind of like a foster parent so she had some foster kids that she was looking after at the house and I was like four years old, so we were outside playing hide-and-go-seek or something. I remember we were playing some type of hide-and-go-seek game or hide-and-go-seek tip. I don't know. And there was this bush that I was hiding behind, and I was squatting down, hiding behind this bush. And for some reason, I have no idea why I was doing this, but I was kind of crouched down, and I was rocking back and forth, back and forth. 
and each time I rocked back and forth my face and eye came closer and closer to this branch don't ask me why I was doing this I don't know why I was doing this anyway I rocked a bit too far forward I lost my balance and I literally seen this branch this twig like come right at my eye and like stab me in the eye and I screamed and I was crying and whatever else ran back to the house and they're running water and stuff over my eye to make sure it's like you know I didn't stab myself in the pupil or whatever but yeah that happened this came about I think they wanted I think they did take me to the urgent care I can't remember I was four years old they might have taken me to the urgent care they rang someone or they were trying to get medical advice they kept running water underneath it but um it ended up healing like this and I have been offered the opportunity to get it removed as I said back in Australia I've give, been given the opportunity to get it removed but I'd need to take laser eye surgery and I didn't want to do, I didn't want to do something like that I would have been like four or five years old I didn't want to get laser eye surgery because I'm still a kid and I'd have to rock an eye patch for god knows how long so I didn't really want to do that so we kind of left it but they recommended that we get it checked out every so often especially because I was a growing young growing boy they were like we need to make sure that it doesn't slide over your pupil which it won't because it's it's like a scar in a layer of my eye that's like underneath and away from the pupil but as I've aged they've both come closer towards the center I don't know if that's because of my eye how my eyes grown or they've shifted or whatever but they've both become like closer to the center of my eye that's at my pupil I can't remember what percentage of the world has birthmarks in their eyes some people get birthmarks where it's like half their pupil is a different color to the other half kind of like those huskies husky dogs you see they have like a double colored <laughs> pupil if you will i do know people go and get their eye eyeballs tattooed believe it or not that's actually done with a syringe so they get the syringe they fill it up with ink for god knows why they want to do this to themselves and the syringe penetrates a layer of the eyeball where you can inject the ink and it'll kind of spread like a kind of like a, a jelly pen like the ink will just kind of spread so they ended up they end up doing it like a few times i'll do it like one two three to make sure your whole white of your eyes turns it into blue or green or god forbid black which some people do i haven't done that and I'm not high. That's another question I get all the time is, are you high? Because I have these things in my eye. People think I have red eyes from smoking. But I don't I don't really get offended. People ask me, oh, like, I don't mean to ask this question, but what happened to your eyeball? Or, like, what happened for that to, to become like that? Like, people get super, super cautious about asking me. And, like, I don't care. I forget it's there, to be honest. I only realize it's there when you guys comment, hey, I don't mean to be rude, but what happened to your eye? Or if you guys are OG viewers of the channel, you guys would have seen I made a video on this, like, ages ago, back in Australia. So if you guys know, if you guys are OG viewers of the channel, you know what happened to my eye. But if you aren't, then this is what happened to my eye. One side is a birthmark. One side is a scar. And... They don't affect my vision and they don't hurt. I know it looks like they hurt because they're just so big and brown and red, but it actually doesn't hurt. I can't, I can't feel it. I could feel it obviously at the time when I got stabbed in the eye with a stick, but I can't feel it. It doesn't affect my vision. So far, it's been all right. The optometrist or the doctor or whatever did tell me, try to avoid a lot of light coming into your eyes. So I think this is more when I was a teenager there. I'd wear sunglasses a lot purely because I thought that the sun would get into my eye and then make them bigger. I don't know if that's a real thing. That's what they told me. But um, I, don't, I don't really sweat on it anymore. Like, I don't... It doesn't affect me in any other way as any other part of my body having a birthmark on it, if that makes sense. And I sh I'm sure everybody gets those eye floaters. You know, you'll be, like, looking into the sky and you'll see those little clear eye floaters come across your vision like this and go, every time you try to look at them they move they're like little worms almost i have those but a lot of people have those i'm not sure if it's to do with my vision because believe it or not i wear reading glasses and it's this eye that has astigmatism so if you guys don't know what astigmatism is it's basically the shape of your eyeball it's not a perfect like circle or sphere it's more of an oval shape like a football so 
This is my bad eye, believe it or not. So I wear glasses for this eye. But I think having the floaters has something to do with my eye shape being a weird shape. I don't know. I've only been to the optometrist like two or three times in my life. That's what happened to my eye. Hopefully you guys will watch this video and listen to what I'm saying about what happened to my eye. If not, it's fine. Just um, when you comment, what happened to your eye? It's just like, I don't know. I've, I've I've written out comments a hundred different times now explaining so I thought I'd make a video just to update you guys on what happened to my eye but yeah that's pretty much it if you guys are new to my channel make sure you subscribe um, check out eveningmob.com we just got a bunch of the throwy hoodies reprinted we got tote bags as well they're pretty sick we have what else do we have sunglasses are sick too it's coming into summer you need a nice pair of sunnies to protect your eyes from the harmful uv rays because there's holes in the, the ozone i don't know if holes in the ozone affect the amount of uv rays I, i'd imagine they would but yeah i'm gonna stop babbling on hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i'll catch you guys uh in the next one on your way back bring me his son on your